As Air Force One is heading toward Dallas, the weather clears. And one of Kennedy's aides, Larry O'Brien, says, Kennedy weather. It's a glittering, bright Texas sun. So everything's shining. Everything's gleaming. Air Force One, the great silver plane, the door opens, and it seems like the Kennedys are gleaming. There's Mrs. Kennedy, and the crowd yells, and the President of the United States. And I can see his suntan all the way from here. The plan was for them to get right into the car. But the crowd is so excited along the fence. They're all reaching out to try to touch this beautiful couple. And they walk along. How could they resist? They get into the car, and the motorcade pulls out for Dallas. The Kennedys are in the first car. In the jump seats are John Connolly and Nellie Connolly, his wife. On the sidewalks, from the curb to the buildings, are crammed solid with people. From every window, people are reaching out and yelling and screaming. Every time Jackie waves, the crowd presses forward, and every time Jack waves, they press forward, so that the motorcade has to go slower, from 20 miles to 15 miles to 10 miles to 5 miles. Nellie Connolly turns to the president and says, Mr. President, you certainly can't say that Dallas doesn't love you. And she says, Jack Kennedy looked at her and gave her this big smile. This is Edwin Newman in the NBC newsroom in New York. This information from Dallas. Two priests who were with President Kennedy say he is dead. This is the latest information we have from Dallas. What you're feeling right now? I really couldn't say. Really, right now I just don't know what to do. Was there much emotion among the congregation? It was, really. It was amazing to see the number of men who came into the cathedral sobbing, almost convulsed with sorrow, anguish. But all we can do now is pray for him and about all we can do. An entire loss to the world is hardly believable.